Welcome back to bass series. Today's subject is muting your bass effectively. Since the bass strings are thicker than other instruments, they tend to resonate with each other more. Meaning that if I play an open E, all four of my strings will ring with that open E string. Let me mute just the E string. Hear that? Again. Those three strings are ringing with my E string. This is especially disturbing on high volume settings. You know what I'm talking about if you're on a band. So, if you don't mute your strings accordingly, you can muddy up the music quite easily. What we need to do is quite simple actually. We have to be in contact with all four of our strings when we play. So if I play something and leave one string untouched, in this case G string, that string will ring out 100% of the time. We will isolate the muting techniques we can do with our right hand and our left hand. Let's start with the right hand. If you are familiar with the fundamental right hand technique, meaning that you know how to move your thumb on the strings and you know what a rest stroke is, you're probably already doing it. So what I mean by that is, let's play G string. If I move my thumb on the A string and rest on the D string as I play, I'm muting the D string with my index and middle fingers. I'm resting my thumb on the A string, so I'm muting it. Also, I'm touching the E string with the back of my thumb so I'm muting that string as well. So with just with my right hand, I'm muting all four of the strings. One more thing you can do is, if you play with your index and middle fingers, your ring and your pinky fingers can be used for mutings. This is especially useful for six string bass technique and you might wanna check out John Patricio for his technique. If I wanna play the G string again, but I wanna place my thumb on the pickup, I cannot mute A and E strings, so, with my ring fingers and my pinky, I can mute those strings. All right, let's get to the left hand. The main thing we will do is, we will be in contact with all four of our strings with the insides of our fingers. To do that, we have to play more flattened fashion to touch all four of the strings instead of playing curved like this. So if I play something on the E string, I can mute those three strings with the insides of my fingers. Another technique we can use is using the tips of our fingers to mute the strings. As an example, if I play an open E string followed by C on the third fret of the A string and I want to mute the strings just with my left hand, what I can do is I can mute the E string with the tip of my finger. I'm not using the rest string on my right hand, so it's just left hand. See, it's silent. I can also use the rest stroke and use them both to get a better meaning. The last technique we will use on the left hand side is using our left hand thumb to mute the E string. So if I play slap, I am only in contact with the strings when I'm playing. So I have to depend on my left hand more. If I play an open E string, I can mute that string with the thumb of my left hand side. Like this. To do that, I'm moving my fingers to the body side, so my thumb moves accordingly, like this. I can be in contact with the E string all the time if I use this technique, right? After we master all of those techniques, we can use something like Groogie's fret wraps to help with our mutings. What it basically does is, it dampens the strings on the lower side, so my strings don't resonate with each other as I play. This is especially useful for full hand tappings, when you cannot mute. Like this. And in the recording environments, when you want to be that silent. One more thing that is, this is not here for covering up our imperfect technique. This is just here for helping us out in the special occasions. That's it for this lesson. Try to incorporate those techniques into your playing and you will see the results immediately. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.